The states are rebelling against PM Malcolm Turnbull's plan to change the way the GST is distributed. If he's got a serious proposal to change the allocation, let's see his detail, he said. I'm just not going to entertain Mr. Turnbull's thought bubbles, which are purer. Motivated by state politics in WA, Australia is getting fed up with Mr. Turnbull's all-talk, no-action approach to government. Shorten's comments come as Treasurer Scott Morrison said changing the GST carve-up is overdue, but won't be looked at for some time yet. Following Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's announcement on the weekend he wanted to introduce a GST floor below which no state's share of the tax could fall. Mr Morrison warned advocates and opponents not to get ahead of themselves. You've got to wait until you get the system back into a position where it's more balanced and so. Therefore you're not engaging those sorts of discussions. He told 2 gigabytes where you're not changing anything to what people are then currently getting and you wait for the system to correct itself and then you have what is an overdue conversation about how you can make sure it's fair to everyone and you don't get these sorts of perverse results. His comments echo the approach outlined by Mr Turnbull on Saturday. Over the next few years, the formula will see Western Australia's share more than double considerably more than double from where it is at the moment to a much higher level. He said, We believe that we should take that opportunity. As the Western Australian share of the GST increases under the current system, to change the arrangements so that we set a percentage floor below which no state's receipts of GST can fall below. Setting a floor below which a state's share of the GST cannot fall immediately after it has been exceeded in this cycle, means that no other state will be disadvantaged based on their projected GST shares. Acknowledging such a change would require approval from the state and territory governments. Mr Morrison said the change would occur down the track, saying, we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. No one envisaged that the current way things are done would lead to a situation where Western Australia would just get 30% of the GST their people paid. He said, the system has got to be fair to everyone. That was a pretty egregious result and the simple point he is making is down the track. Once the system gets to the point where Western Australia's share gets back to a more normal level, then we will have a good yarn about how we can rebalance the system. Some states have already expressed opposition to the plan. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk said yesterday it was policy on the run. Labor's Helen Polly told the ABC, Certainly, the alarm bells are ringing loud and clear. The WA government has long been pushing for a change to the way GST revenues are distributed between the states, claiming it is missing out. Labor's Michelle Rowland claimed it was reminiscent of his double taxation thoughts he had some months ago, and it's also reminiscent of him trying to push for changes to the GST on increasing it, she told Sky News. So he floats these ideas then jettisons them when they all become too hard. How GST is carved up between the state. News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information, including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.